Hey kids, thanks for being good about the last video. Here's what I got at McDonald's for you as a treat. Pure soul mode. You say love big dumb anime robots. It doesn't get much bigger, dumber, and more anime than TG Halberd Cannon Assault mode. I don't know why I chose now of all times to start tinkering with the soul mode, but I guess I'm just in a big dumb robot and dragon mood. I blame Starship Velociraptor. Other things to note here are the Fenders. Fenders is like the perfect small world bridge for this deck because you can bridge from any card in the deck to any card in the deck aside from Stardust to Soul Mode, but if you need to get that in or out of your hand, you are out a lot to begin with. Also, TG Warwolf is pretty cool because it's a level 3 extender that goes perfect with Ass Dragon, Chain Blocks, your Psy Reflectors, summoned by Itelli, and has a claw arm ideal for destroying enemy aquatic mobile suits which the Federation is sure to develop once they see the technical might of the Zeonic Navy for our first game we'll be going up against Blue Eyes. Honestly, today's video was supposed to be about Blue Eyes. Uh, the Pure Light, or the True Light or whatever, can set Blue Eyes spell traps from the deck, and if there's one thing I love, it's jamming Zulkin in random decks that can summon, uh, that can trigger Zulkin on the opponent's turn, but it was just too much of a non deck it was just so bad uh it looks like they're just on like a pile of blue eyes yeah this is it's blue eyes it sure is blue eyes they've got all the cards you expect from blue eyes yep that's blue eyes we've opened assault sentinel cash tier fenner and we've got both the uh auxiliary trap cards so uh also we're on the play which is really helpful we're gonna special fenner and then add fenner then normal Assault Sniper and tribute it off for Psy Reflector, which will be grabbing Assault Beast, which will discard itself to add Assault Mode Activate, which will now reveal to summon back the Beast and make it level 7. We'll make Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon, bring back the Psy Reflector, set 3, and pass. Uh, our opponent's going to start off with Sage with Eyes of Blue. We're going to Ash that because, like, I don't care. Um, then we'll activate Ash Dragon to tag into Stardust and su and Synchro Summon a Tau A that effect the Drake Observer. Our opponent's going to activate Vision, then Fire Melody. We'll Assault counter that, and then in a new chain, Assault Reboot for Halberd Cannon Assault Mode. They're going to go for Return of the Dragon Lords, and we'll chain Reboot to shuffle back pretty much everything in our graveyard we care about. They'll Synchro Summon Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, but that is a special summon, so we'll negate and banish, and our opponent will concede. Didn't even need to use the Berserker. This this replay is not great, but I wanted to show it because I drew Warwolf, and I think Warwolf is really cool. Our foot's on pure Mikanko with, like, some Kaijus. Like, a lot of Kaijus. They're on double-edged sword for the cheesy OTK dog. They're not even on an extra deck. I just noticed this now. They're not on an extra deck. They have literally no reason to not be on an extra deck. They're playing zero cards that care about not having an extra deck. They just decided, nope, don't need it. Anyway, we're going first again, because this deck really needs to. We'll eat Tully for Psy Reflector, chain blocking it with a Warwolf to add a copy of Assault Beast, then discard Assault Beast for Assault Mode Activate, which will now reveal to resummon Assault Beast as a level 7, which will trigger the second Warwolf. We'll summon Ass Dragon and bring back the Psy Reflector, then Prosperity for 6, revealing and adding... We'll be grabbing Called by the Grave here. We're just going to go ahead and set three cards and attempt to leave the main phase. Our opponent's going to nib, so we'll go ahead and make Stardust Dragon and then Synchro Summon for a unaffected Dawn Dragster and unaffected uh, Stardust, blanking the Nibiru. Uh, during our opponent's draw phase, we'll tag into Assault Mode, and it's gone. They'll set Fury and pass. We're going to flip Dawn Dragster to Attack Mode punch in get very confused why this didn't do piercing because this card does piercing but uh it turns out that all the mikankos uh don't ha ha have you not take battle damage if you don't have uh any equip cards we're they're gonna kaiju slumber we'll negate with dawn dragster they'll set nini we're going to fire prosperity here for three uh we flip i guess ash uh anyways we'll just punch in uh punch in again if we found like any way to an assault mode or to a level 8 synchro, we were fine, but no such luck. We're going to Ash the Kaiju Slumber, then they're just going to Lava Goal in our field, which sucks. Uh, we'll take a 1,000 during the standby phase, and we're going to Normal Summon Assault Sniper. That's summon number 1. Psy Reflector makes 2. 
We'll be grabbing a Soul Mode Activate and revealing it to bring back Beast as summon number 3, make it level 7, and summon number 4 is Stardust Dragon for game. And now for something a little bit more competent, I guess. Uh, this appears to be... It's post Cyberstorm access purely with what appears to be a Shadal engine to establish Winda because uh, purely Lily is a dark, which means that it's half of uh, Winda if you have access to Schism. Um, I don't think this is the best build uh, purely, but it's certainly a way to uh, benefit from the discord effects of the purely memories uh we will be going first because shocker this deck needs to we'll special fenrir we drew the second one we'll prosper for six and we we saw the heat tell you we don't need to we don't need to see anymore we're we're good thank you we'll grab psy reflector just in case they have ash so that way we can still like an eight if need be uh assault piece is going to be grabbed uh and then search someone activate and reborn as a seven which will special Warwolf, then we'll go ahead and make Ass Dragon, bring back the Psy Reflector set to and pass. Uh, our opponent is going to start with Delicious Memory and we're going to chain Ass Dragon for Stardust and Herald of the Arclight. They're going to make this Herald of the Arclight protected and then uh, summon Lily. We're going to activate, uh, Soul Mode activate, they'll try to Ash, we'll negate with Herald of the Arclight. So we get our Stardust Dragon Assault Mode they get their Stray Purely Street and will banish the Lily face down. They'll activate uh, Stray Street, will negate and destroy, and they will concede, but not before leaving a salty message in the chat. I I I'm sad that it doesn't show up on the, uh, on the, on the replay. Honestly, it was, it was very funny. Ash Dragon feels right at home in a deck like this that actually wants the Stardust Dragon it summons. Such a fantastic addition to an incredibly cool deck. The deck is really consistent. I mean, you have 13 copies of your one card starter, not even including Prosperity, which really should be hitting at least one functional copy. Assault Mode isn't hurting for more copies of each card though, but it is lacking severely in resiliency. One Imperm on Psy Reflector and you'll be clicking Concede if you don't have a way to another, but who cares about all that? You get to summon a huge robot with 4,500 attack that banishes your opponent's entire field. That's so awesome. 